If you have heard the term right and wrong side of fabric and don't really know what they're talking about and really, really don't know how to tell the difference between the two and some fabrics, well, in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to actually find the difference between the right and the wrong side of the fabric, give you some pointers how you can figure this out yourself, and obviously give you a little explanation and how important this is when you're sewing. So, let's get into it. <laughs> This is our first time meeting. My name is Evelyn Wood and this series called Learn to Speak Dressmaker is like your sewing dictionary and how to. And it is, the whole series is brought to you by VintageSewingSchool.com which is my online school to teach new sewers just like you how to sew. Now today's word we are discussing, or words in this case, is the right and wrong side of fabric. So what is this? The right side of the fabric is the side that is going to be on the outside of your garment that you want seen. And on the flip side, the wrong side of the fabric is the, the side of the fabric that you're going to have on the inside of the finished garment that you won't see. That'll be inside where your body is. So first up, one of the questions you might have is actually how important is it? Because some fabrics, it looks really the same, right? The both sides of the fabric look the same. And here's the deal, is that you can use whatever side that you want. It's just that it might not look as pretty if you've accidentally used the wrong side of the fabric. So the right side is usually going to have the nicest print. It'll be the most full in color. It'll be the shiniest, the glossiest. It'll have the smoothest finish because it's that's the side is that is intended to be the nice, pretty, beautiful outside. And the underside is usually more dull. It might not be printed at all. It'll be more uh, a bit rougher. Uh, these are usual characteristics of the underside. And so you don't want to actually use that on the outside unless for some reason that you like it better. So you can choose, but just remember, use the same side as the outside for everything. So don't use like one side on the out and then the other side the other way, just because they look the same. They could be a little bit different, so don't be fooled by that. Just make sure you use that same side of the fabric for all of the outside of the garment. But let's take a little closer look. So some fabrics are really quite obvious in their difference between the right and wrong side. For instance, uh, this vintage print I have here, heavily printed on one side and on the other side, no print. So it's pretty obvious to tell what's the right and wrong side of this one. Let's move on to something a little bit shinier. As I was saying before, the outside is usually the shiniest of the fabric. And if we look at this one here, uh, we can see the outside here is very shiny and on the other side it is quite dull. So we can tell by, you know, the dullness of this and the beautiful glossy nature of this side that this nice shiny side is indeed the right side of this fabric. So something a little bit more difficult to tell the difference between. This print here is printed on both sides, really. The print comes through. But if we took a really close look at this, we can see one side of the print here is very nice and finished. Uh, the colors go right to the edges and it looks really crisp and sharp. When we turn it over and look at the other side, you can see the print is a little less um, so sharp. It's more a bit blurry. If you have a look in the sections of colors, like particularly through this red, you can see there's patches that aren't actually quite filled in with red. And when you have a look at the other side, you can see just how clearly the print is on that side. So in this case, we can tell that this uh, slightly nicer and sharper side of the print here, that this side is the right side of the fabric. Moving on to something a little more tricky. This one, if we look at either side, it appears exactly the same. The coloring's the same, there's no print to tell any discernible difference. So we really wanna have a look at the texture and the feel for this one. So if I feel this side of the fabric here, it feels rather quite smooth. And if I feel the other side, I can feel it's actually ever so slightly, a little bit more rough and the slubs, or the slubs of these tiny little like pricks or um, balls of uh, fabric that you might see. They're called slubs. 
I feel more of these on this side of the fabric. And so to me, that says that the smoother side will be the right side of this fabric because that is usually how it goes. The nice smoother side is the right side and the, um, you know, the rougher side is usually the underside. And another quite difficult fabric to tell the difference between is this wool here. So at first glance, um, both sides appear very much the same. They're both textured. It's both an even texture. Uh, the coloring is the same, there's no print, and it's quite difficult to tell. So there's a few ways that we can further look into this to see if we can tell the difference. Uh, if we look really, really closely here at this one, on this side here, the uh, coloring goes all the way through the selvage. Now, if you don't know what the selvage is, please refer to my other video on explaining that one. I'll link it up below. Now the coloring goes all the way through to the selvage. And on the other side, you can see we can actually see the selvage a little bit more on this one. And if you look really, really closely, you can see that we can actually see a little bit more of these lines and these weaves through the, um, through the fabric here. So that really tells me that uh, this side here that we can see the selvage and we can see these weave lines, that that is the wrong side of the fabric. And this other side that has that slightly smoother finish uh, and it goes all the way to the very edge to the selvage of the fabric that this is the right side of this fabric and now sometimes it is really really hard even than that to tell the difference like this cotton i have here if we look at both sides their coloring is the same there's no print the weave is the same both sides have exact same texture if i look at the selvage it's really like there's there's no difference there so how can we tell there's one last little ninja trick that i'll teach you though it is not a hundred percent now when i was in college i was always taught that the holes on the selvage here now these holes are here for when the fabric's made are actually punched through with little needles to hold it in place and these are always punched through from right side to the wrong side of the fabric so that means if, uh, if you feel along the selvage, you can feel a rough side and a smooth side. So the smooth side will be where the needles go through and the rough side, you'll actually feel the little bumps from the, the needle holes um, there. So where all the little bumps are is the wrong side and the smooth side is the, the right side. But now take this with some warning because I have, you know, experimented and looked at my own fabrics over the years and found this not to be true 100% of the time. I find fabrics that are really obviously printed and the little bumps go through to the right side of the fabric. So I don't know whether it was traditionally done that way and now they change things up a little bit with different manufacturing. I have a suspicion that um, it's a little bit of that and maybe the way that the fabrics are finished uh, when they're printed they actually get re-rolled onto different rolls and they then get rolled in reverse so the, the needles go outwards to do the print on the outside might have something to do with it so I use this as a guide um, but I find it to be accurate most of the time so that's my little ninja trick for you on telling the right and wrong sides if all else fails now remember there are a group of little words that all go together to give you a little bit more understanding about the terminology around fabrics so please uh, like this video if you liked it and remember to subscribe to my channel and I really love to hear from you below in the comments which of these methods you didn't know about which is the most surprising or which is going to help you the most I'd love to hear below so that everyone else can read as well and learn a few extra tips if there's something that I don't know about too please pop it down there so we can all learn now, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.